Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Vinizam Marque of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And I'm still on a Christmas roll. The principles invested in Christmas. And um, this morning, I'd like to uh, capture it, uh, happiness, foreign affairs. And uh, I'm still on uh, the two figures, um, that is Elizabeth and her husband, Zacharias. And that's what... Uh, I've been thinking about and it's quite intriguing and quite very interesting foreign affairs of happiness now and this one you take the scripture from Luke chapter 1 and Luke chapter 2 and Luke chapter 1 uh, Elizabeth receives a miracle and in Luke chapter 2 it is Mary's turn and not just Mary's turn but Mary uh, has problems with her faith and Mary has challenges with her faith because she asked the angel how can these things be I mean seeing I'm a woman who is not married and I'm a virgin so how can I be pregnant now the Bible said something that the angel said to uh, Mary Elizabeth your sister or your cousin has a miracle too so when you approach that place when you get to Elizabeth you would see for yourself now here's the thing the Bible says, as Mary was approaching, as Mary was coming, when it, immediately Elizabeth saw her, Elizabeth said, the baby in my womb leapt. But Elizabeth began to say some things that were very intriguing to me. Look at what she said. She said, I am carrying something. She admitted. She said, the baby in my womb jumped for joy. But she said to me, how blessed I am. I'm so grateful that the mother of my Lord is coming to me. Wow. That she's saying, I carry something, but you are also carrying something which is greater than what I carry. And then she goes on to say, I'm excited about what you are carrying. I'm happy for you. I'm excited at what you are carrying. And it's because she described her as the mother of my Lord. That means, hey, somebody bigger than me, somebody greater than me. Uh, Elizabeth was excited at the success of Mary. So that's why it is, I'm happy for something that happens not in my corridor, but something that happens out of my corridor. Something that happens out of my jurisdiction. Something that doesn't necessarily happen to me, but happens to somebody else. I'm not going to be jealous. I'm excited about it because the same God who does it for that person will also do it for me if he has not done it already. Elizabeth was excited at the prospects of Mary. She was happy for Mary. You know what I mean? Be happy for all this. Be happy for others when you see them moving on, succeeding in life, prospering in life. Be happy for them. Give them a standing ovation. Clap for them. Encourage them. That's one of the things that Elizabeth taught me. And that taught me that, listen, I must be happy when somebody else... Uh, do not denigrate somebody else's success. Don't run it down. Don't try to find loopholes in it. Don't try to dig holes in it. Don't try to investigate it in the distance. Just be happy. I mean, Elizabeth, as for Elizabeth, look at the process. Uh, uh, the, the Bible used the word, and, and, and somebody knew somebody, and Adam knew his wife. You get it? That had intimacy. Elizabeth's child came out of intimacy between she and Zacharias. But Mary's own was not through intimacy. If between Mary and Joseph, if it had been that way, I mean, guess what Elizabeth said? I know God has told me that he's doing something in your life which is bigger than me, bigger than mine. Well, this would be the time that Elizabeth would say, mine me and my husband, though, everybody knows me and my husband. But Mary's, hey, hmm, ask her who made her pregnant. If Elizabeth was not there, look, be happy for others. Don't poke holes in their success stories. Don't punch their success stories. Don't dig uh, and to find out the, 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 the downside of their, of, their, of their success story. Just be happy for the person. Because if God can do it for the person, that same God will do it for you. So, foreign affairs of happiness. 
be happy for others when it is not happening for you. Be happy for others. That's the story of Elizabeth. See you later.